We do have tough gun laws in Massachusetts. I support them. I won't chip away at them. I believe they help protect us and provide for our safety. I've been pro-gun and continue to be pro-gun. I don't line up 100% with the NRA. I don't see eye to eye with the NRA in every issue. But it didn't take me very long to understand that there are millions and millions of people who care very deeply about their constitutional right to bear arms. As governor, you signed into law one of the toughest restrictions on assault weapons in the country. And steeply increased fees on gun owners in that state, in fact, by 400%. My view is that we have the Second Amendment right to, to bear arms. And in this country, my, my view is also that we should not add new legislation. My position is we should check on the, the backgrounds of people who are trying to purchase guns. We also should keep weapons of unusual lethality from being on the street. I do not believe in new laws restricting gun ownership and gun use. It's all ban that expired here because Congress didn't act on it. You would support. Uh, just as the president said, he would, have, he would have signed that bill if it came to his desk, and so would have I. That's not quite consistent to say you're for Brady and so-called assault gun ban, but support of the Second Amendment because we see that that's really a denial of the Second Amendment. Governor, I would like to un know your stand on the Second Amendment. I support the Second Amendment. I, uh, I purchased a gun when I was a young man. I've been a hunter uh, pretty much all my life. Mitt Romney called himself a lifelong hunter. When it was later revealed that in fact he's only been hunting twice, he said he meant varmints and rodents. But any sportsman will tell you that ain't hunting. That's pest control. Uh, then he said, I have a gun of my own. And in fact, he does not have a gun of his own. All that uh, led this column today in the Boston Globe by Joan Venacci. She wrote, leave it to Mitt Romney to shoot himself in the foot with a gun he doesn't own. <laughs> you were teased mightily a few years ago for saying you hunted varmints. I just wonder if you've gone hunting since 07. <laughs> um, I, I'm not going to describe all of my great exploits, uh, uh, but uh, uh, I, went, uh, I went moose hunting, actually. Not moose hunting, I'm sorry. Elk hunting. You're only allowed a certain number of flips before people begin to doubt your character. Uh, and I think Romney exhausted his quota some time back. Shannon snuck a little extra point in there that I want to address, and that is with regards to my views with regards to protecting a woman's right to choose. And I've been very clear on that. I will preserve and protect a woman's right to choose, and am devoted and dedicated to honoring my word in that regard. I will not change any provisions of Massachusetts's pro-choice laws. Now, I want the voters to know exactly where I'm going to stand as governor, and that is I am not going to change our pro-choice laws in Massachusetts in any way. I will preserve them, I will protect them, I will enforce them, and therefore I'm not going to make any changes which would make it more difficult for a woman uh, to make that choice herself. I'm running for office for Pete's sake. Who is this guy? Can you trust him? I have never supported the President's Recovery Act, all right, the stimulus. No time, nowhere, no how. I think there is need for economic stimulus. You're only allowed a certain number of flips before people begin to doubt your character. The big issue uh, with Mitt Romney has been the issue of abortion. Mm -hmm. Has he flip-flopped on abortion? I will preserve and protect a woman's right to choose. The right next step in the, in the fight to preserve the sanctity of life is to see Roe v. Wade overturned. He was pro-choice, then he's pro-life. Or he flip-flops again, just like he did on abortion, just like he did on Ronald Reagan. Look, I was an independent during the time of Reagan-Bush. I'm not trying to return to Reagan-Bush. The principles that Rog Ronald Reagan espoused are as true today as they were when he spoke them. There you go again. <laughs> In 1985, I helped found a company. I learned how America competes with companies in other countries, in other countries. The money he has that he didn't inherit is what he made as a private equity mogul, shutting down companies, liquidating their assets, and firing their American workers. I think you'll find that, that I've been in, uh, as consistent as, as human beings can be. If you're looking for someone who's never changed any positions on any policies, then I'm not your guy. I'm not your guy. I think Americans just don't know sometimes which Mitt Romney they're dealing with. The new cover of Time magazine today asks the question, why don't they like me? Mitt Romney spends little to no time doing interviews on the TV, whereas the other candidates are working the Sunday news show circuit like a politician running for president. Romney often bypassing reporters on the rope line. 
Remember earlier this year how Romney got a million dollar donation from an organization that just suddenly ceased to exist the next day? It's really someone wanting to give Romney the money while staying in the shadows. Mitt Romney stealing all of Barack Obama's big dollar Wall Street donors. A good chunk of his funds came from his buddies on Wall Street like Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, and Bank of America. To get that kind of money, you've got to cozy up as an incumbent to all of the special interest groups who can go out and raise money for you from their members. That kind of relationship has an influence on the way you're going to vote. But look, I'm not going to spend my time going after Ben Bernanke. I'm not going to take my, my effort and focus on the Federal Reserve. Should the chairman of the Federal Reserve be pointed again? I think he's doing a good job. You do? Yes, I do. And, and I think it's, uh, it's important to have the Fed as an independent agency. I do not think you want to have the, uh, the, the, uh, the Congress of the United States uh, trying to uh, pull strings uh, at the Fed. He physically, personality-wise, comes across as if he was designed by East German scientists to be the perfect android politician. I thought it was such a disastrous interview for Mitt Romney. Romney's donations from lobbyists actually come to more than all of his GOP counterparts combined. Do you really want this cat to be president? Romney can't win. He's dead in the water. Well, that's what we did in Massachusetts, and that is we put together an exchange, and the pre president's copying that idea. I'm glad to hear that. Obamacare is bad news, and if I'm president of the United States, I will repeal it. I don't think I've ever hired an illegal in my life. We hired a lawn, a lawn company to, to mow our lawn. And they had illegal immigrants that were working there. Flip-flop myth. But I believe the world is getting warmer. I believe that humans contribute to that. My view is that we don't know what's causing climate change on this planet. Mitt Romney's reputation as a flip-flopper who changes position because of, of political expedience. If Republicans didn't like Mitt Romney's position on the so-called union-busting proposal in Ohio, all they had to do is wait one day before he changed it. I'm not speaking about the, uh, the particular ballot issues. But by today, Romney had a different answer. I fully support a Governor Kasich's, uh, I think it's called Question 2 in Ohio. He's changed his position on a number of issues. Republican Mitt Romney says he will not sign a no new taxes pledge. I'm proud to be the only major candidate for president to sign the tax pledge. Your view has changed so dramatically. I just signed a piece of legislation extending the ban on certain assault weapons. I do not support any new legislation of an assault weapon ban nature. Experts are predicting kind of a tough fight between Romney and his biggest ideological opponent, Mitt Romney from four years ago. <laughs> Those guys don't agree on anything. And there are two Mitt Romneys. This guy has played both sides of the fence with equal fervor. The tarp got paid back and it kept the financial system from collapsing. So you feel it was well worth it? Well, it was the right thing to do. Tarp ought to be ended. Tarp ought to be ended. Mitt Romney flip-flopped again. He's trying to take credit for saving the auto industry. I'm not willing to sit back and say too bad for Michigan, too bad for the, bad for the car industry after he proposed letting the auto industry die. That's exactly what I said. Let Detroit go bankrupt. Let Detroit go bankrupt. You're only allowed a certain number of flips before people begin to doubt your character. I think people understand that I'm a man of uh, steadiness and constancy. Who is this guy? Can you trust him? Mitt Romney's reputation as a flip-flopper who changes position. He's changed his position on a number of issues. The mixed messages are what did it. Some people are going to see those changes of minds as awfully politically convenient. It's an issue of character. The core issues for a man, as you said earlier, who doesn't seem to have a core. I'm running for office for Pete's sake. There are a lot of reasons not to elect me. I'd like to ask you to just pass this message along to a friend. Thanks so much.